online reviews can influence where we dine, where we shop, certainly where we spend our money. Yeah. So you may, I definitely think you want them to be honest. We have a business review site Yelp that's taking another step to crack down mm -hmm. on the widespread problem of fake reviews. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan is here now with more on what they're doing. Hey Heather. Hey there, yeah, so consumer investigators and the Federal Trade Commission have been reporting on droves of fake reviews on business review sites for years. Yelp has been flagging businesses for a while, but now it's published a list of nearly 5,000 of them across the country. To discourage fake and paid business reviews on the platform, business review site Yelp has now posted a list of businesses across the country it has flagged with compensated activity alerts, saying it caught someone offering cash, discounts, gift certificates, or other incentives for reviews. One business page on Yelp with the alert is Le Bijou Nails and Spa at 6134 Westheimer in Houston. Yelp says it posted this offer of a $100 gift card for a five-star review, saying best review wins. So we went over. So we came to see if we could talk with you guys about it. Yeah, so I, did, I took that down already. The owner says she doesn't remember when her marketing team posted it, but they have since taken it down. We weren't trying to bribe anybody. We were just saying if we need to leave a positive review because we wanted to we had to reach out to our own customers, you know. Yeah. So that was it. I didn't have no meaning to it. I wasn't trying to bribe people to do it. And Yelp posted images of offers for reviews from businesses across the country. Free fries, review us on Yelp. Give us five stars, win a free donut. A free Apple flapjack. Positive review raffle, win a 58-inch TV, or this tattoo parlor's 10% off a piercing for a review on Yelp. Yelp is also posting a list of businesses it says it has flagged for suspicious review activity, warning of large numbers of positive reviews from a single IP address or from users who may be connected to a group that coordinates reviews. Yelp says when it discovers reviewers posting reviews for compensation, the pr their practice is to remove those reviews and to close their accounts. And the Federal Trade Commission is looking at making rules to fine people for writing fake reviews. So we'll see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so how can we spot the fake reviews that are already out there? Yeah, so there are three red flags. Repeatedly mentioning the brand in the review. Uh, click on the reviewer's profile. Do they live in the area? Or have they left a lot of reviews lately? And negative reviews that recommend a competitor, those are a little sketchy too. I see. All right. Heather, thank you for alerting us and giving us the red flags. We'll know what to watch out for. You bet.